Hey guys, welcome to Saturday. I'm leaving to go pick up Giselle. We're gonna go have like a sort of anti-Valentine's Day kind of thing today since the 13th. We're not gonna do anything tomorrow because we have church and we don't buy things on Sundays. So we're gonna go out and do some fun things today, like book-related things. We're gonna go get sushi. I'm uh, first gonna go to the store and pick her up some flowers to take to her and possibly candy or something. I don't know, we'll see. I had been planning on getting her flowers, but I wasn't sure if I would get it or anything else, but yesterday when we went to Walmart, she uh, she went and sneaked off and got me something and bought it. And so I'm gonna get her something else besides the flowers too, I think. Let's see. I think she'll like these. Yeah, she'll like these. I also got her some Butterfinger hearts, which I think she'll really like, and I might have to steal some from her because I love these. You guys, Chris and I are going on the best, like, Valentine's Day right now. I call it an tell, anti. I call it an anti Valentine's no, Day. Tell David. them where we're going right now. We're going to McDonald's <laughs> to for McDonald's. breakfast. For breakfast food. That's what Giselle yep, wants. This is all though. we're eating all day. Just McDonald's. No. We're going to get breakfast food. I really want like a breakfast bun thingy. You McMuffin know? thing. Yeah, like something like that. I like the ones that have like. The meat, obviously, I don't care about the ones with bacon, but I like the ones with meat and stuff yeah. and cheese. And this is one of the few places that serves their breakfast menu all day long, so. Yeah, so I we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go to a bookstore. Yeah, Chris has never been to this bookstore before, and I'm excited to show it to him because it's pretty cool. It's a little expensive, but not that expensive, but a little bit. It's like hardbacks are five dollars and paperbacks I think are two fifty, which I know you guys are like Giselle. That's not expensive. It's expensive for used books. It's expensive you guys. for used books. Yeah, yes. like but, I mean, I will see what we we might not like splurge or anything, but we definitely want to go and like enjoy yeah. it and just explore it and have a fun. Yeah. Time. We might get a book or so each, but like yeah, we're not going because we. Want want to get a ton of stuff. I just want to show it to him and it's really fun. And then now we're going to go through the drive through That's the most romantic date I've ever been on in my life. Thanks. We're going to get sushi later, so that's the real romantic part. Yes. It's the real romantic date. Also, you guys, my bullet journal, I've been like working the crap out of it. I'm already, I've filled up so many pages of stuff and I still have so much left to do and I'm just thoroughly loving it. So I'm so excited. And Chris was up late working on his planner too a little bit and stuff. So. I worked on vlogs and then worked on my planner a little bit while they were exporting and uploading and stuff. Yeah. So I've got some stuff planned out and I, I still have more work to do on it, obviously. So I just need to write down certain things that I know are going to happen. And my planner is more like just like a daily, like every day I'll write down stuff instead of like planning out stuff really far in advance. But Well, like, this is mostly just planning out stuff every day. Yeah, but Most what you've done so day. far is a lot of... Yeah, advanced I'm like writing down lists of like booktubers that I watch and hear and like series that I'm reading and I'm writing down all the books that I've read for the year and I just have different projects going on at the beginning of this. I'm, mm -hmm. write, I'm writing down a makeup inventory of all the makeup that I own to kind of just to keep track of it and I'm trying to use up a lot of my stuff right now so I don't know it's I'm having a lot of fun so I'm excited. But I was just, I thought I'd mention, and then my tab right here is my book wish list because obviously that is the most important page, especially <laughs> since we're going to like a bookstore. And I always think of like, oh yeah, I really want that book and I really want that book. So I, if I figure if I just start writing them down, then I'll like remember the titles when I'm in the store because I don't always mm. do that. Also, I just had to say, because I didn't mention this earlier, I love the roses Chris bought me. <laughs> they are beautiful. He knows me perfectly. They are literally perfection and I love them so much and I'm gonna carry them around with me <laughs> to place to place right now I left them where I'm currently staying because I didn't want to bring them in the car all day as we're about and they wilt in the Sun so instead instead when we go back later today to pick up a few things that I may need for the apartment then I'll carry them over there and I'll just take them back and forth with me until <laughs> they die and then I'll take them and I'll hang them upside down and I'll keep them on my wall like a weirdo, because I love, I love taking dried flowers and stuff. What do you want and to see? Giselle got me a really amazing card that is absolutely perfect for our relationship. I mean, it's it's right here, but it's <laughs> such a good card. I love it. And she also got me a giant bag of Andy's candies, which are my favorites. So now we're just gonna be sharing the Andy's candies and Butterfinger hearts all day long. So you know what the first thing he did when we got into the car though was. He asked for a Butterfinger, and I'm like, 
Are you kidding me? I I got you from some freaking Andes and you just want a Butterfinger. I want Andes candies too, but we haven't opened them yet. I know, but we hadn't opened the Butterfingers yet either. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I was just really, after I saw the Butterfingers and got them for you, I was like, I really want a Butterfinger. So <laughs> I'm glad you restrained and didn't eat them before you... Gave them to you? Yeah. Like, open them and be like, I ate a few, Giselle, it's okay. And then there's like two left in the bag. Shh. <laughs> We're at the uh, bookstore now. Lots of books, and it's like a cafe too. So there's a cafe over there. Giselle's checking out some of the children's books. Their prices are pretty high, to be perfectly honest. But we might get some things regardless. If we find anything that we want, I'm about to look through all the mystery and science fiction and fantasy and stuff. Their children's books are like the little tiny ones. They're like two pages long. Are like four and five dollars. When there would be like like 50 cents at the other store yeah. that we go to. Yeah, like 50 cents or a dollar. It's just ridiculous. But they have a few Tom French books, which I just read. So I might I might think about getting some of these and starting to collect them in physical editions. Now we're at a thrift store where books are, well, kids' books are 30 cents and adult books are 40 cents, regardless of them being paperbacks or hardbacks. And Giselle's already found a nice pile over here. All I'm in all that might be all them all in all that all might be five dollars or less. We'll see. But it's pretty amazing. Uh, there's not anything really here that I have seen that I care about, but Giselle's found quite a lot for herself, which is awesome. I did find several things at the other bookstore that I wanted though. Some of the paperbacks in here are mine so. and all together those were like sixteen dollars. <sighs> it is so cold outside. I am literally numb right now. We had to walk from store to here. We had to park on the side of the street and stuff and walk because there's no parking. There's not a lot of parking, so. It is supposed to be in the negatives today and it's starting to get there. Later yeah. and la the later and later it gets, the colder it's supposed to get. And I it's can't at least, feel my ears. It's, a, it's a below 10 degrees right now, I'm pretty sure. Let's look. Let's see what, let's see what the degrees is right now. Let's see what the temperature is. Okay, it's actually. It's just like it's super windy. It's, it's 14 degrees right now, but it's super windy, so it feels a like lot colder. It's, like it's zero. It feels almost. like it's zero. And then tonight, in a few hours, it's supposed to be negative 10. I don't think and I've it's ever... To, it's supposed to feel like negative 20. So. I don't feel like... I, I don't think I've ever been in negative degrees before. It got to negative degrees last year in Maryland, but not this bad. Not this bad at all. I didn't... I don't know. Cold for me is like 20. Freezing and absolutely wanting to die is 20. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but my cheeks, we're I not can't feel them. We're gonna try to do some more stuff, but we're trying to get out for too much longer because as soon as it starts getting dark, we gotta get home and not do anything else because it's gonna get in the negative 30s and we're not gonna be out for that. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are getting a peek at my book wish list, but look at the second book that I've written down. It's The Source of Magic by Piers Anthony. It is the second book in the uh, Xanth. Xanth books. I wrote down that I really wanted that book and I put it right at the top because I want to read the first book this month and of course then we find it for 50 cents in perfect condition. It's literally in perfect condition. It's the best. It's so good. It's so good. Like this is why I don't know like it doesn't I don't know it's just like when you write things down they do come to you like and I've noticed that a lot is if I write something down I always usually end up getting it like pretty soon after like I don't know if it's just because you put it in your mind and so you're just more drawn towards it or you're able to find it easier, but I found it and I'm so excited. Chris actually pulled it off the shelf. I was like, look, and I was like, I just wrote that down on my wish list. So I'm super, 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 super excited. And now I'm going to have to go cross out that one and put my third book on the shelf. And I'm going to have to go cross out the second book and go find the third book and put it on my wish list so we can search for that one next because literally... This was fate. Giselle's in the bathroom currently, but this is the sushi that we ended up getting. We're in this great little sushi restaurant. A nice, a nice uh, escape from the freezing cold outside. I can't wait for her to come out so we can eat this because it looks so good. This is beautiful. Like this is such a great presentation as well. I love it. What do you think, Giselle? I'm excited. I want to eat. Let's not film. Let's eat. It's currently negative nine degrees outside right now. Negative freaking nine. I don't think I've ever been around weather weather that was less than like 10 degrees. So this is like 20 degrees colder than I've ever had before. But it feels like it's negative 33 
right now because of wind chills. And then also, look at that. The high for tomorrow was 10 degrees. And then it jumps up to 30. And then it jumps up to freaking 40, 54. What is up with this weekend? This Today was a stupid day. Like, it was so cold all day long. And tonight's going to be freezing, obviously, since it's negative 33 degrees, it feels like. And in a few days, the low is going to be literally like 40 degrees higher than the lows of today. Like, what? Our weather is being really stupid right now, you guys, and I'm not happy with it. How badly did you feel like your face was falling off earlier today? I couldn't feel it <laughs> at all. Like, because my face was numb and had already fallen off. So. Like, I literally couldn't feel my ears. Like, I kept touching them, and I'm like, this is so weird. I couldn't feel them, and they just, like, felt like frozen chunks of me, like, glued <laughs> to my head. Like, it, like, they were, like, stiff to move. Like, they were so frozen. Like, mm -hmm. well, I don't know if this is true or not, but we were talking to someone, and they said that it's really easy. That They said with the weather that we're having right now, like, people are getting frostbite within, like, two or three minutes from being outside. And I don't know if that's true, but our ears could have gotten frostbitten off, and that would have yeah. been really sad. I'm very glad we're not outside right now. We're in the apartment, and it's pretty nice in here. Mm -hmm. We've, we got back from earlier, and we filmed uh, we filmed a book hauls for the books that we got from yeah. Steve and that we got at the Boston Library sale. Mm -hmm. That was fun. We did two parts, and I just finished editing both of the parts, and hopefully they should go very soon. So. Yeah. I'm uber excited, and then I've been sitting here working on my planner because it's making me really happy, so I've been doing this, and it's been amazing, and I started the index and started doing all these things, so I still have, like, tabs in there telling me what I want to do and add it and stuff, but I'm getting there, and I'm really excited, and my February TBR and all sorts of stuff. This has been, this is really great and super fun. It looks like crap, but I'm sure it will get better as I go along. But right now I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to do with it. And I think that's going to be it for today. It was a fun day, regardless of the cold, yeah. cold awfulness. But it was a really, good it was a really fun day. day. Oh, and the sushi was really good. Oh yeah, the sushi earlier was amazing. We haven't been able to find a sushi place that we liked in this area, and yeah. that one was super good, and it was, it was not pretty, it was, too expensive. It was not too expensive. expensive. For what we got, we got several things, and it was not that expensive. It's not as good as the place that we've been going to back at uh, near my parents' house in Maryland, and we're definitely going to go there again when we go yeah. down to Maryland for Easter. But And then when we go to California, I have a couple places, sushi places near my home, where they're like literally twice as cheap as the places here. Try says inexpensive, but they're like my favorite sushi places I've ever mm -hmm. been to. They're delicious, so there's much better places, yeah. but this is really good. This is the best place we found here. So. We found. Because I went to, so I went to one that was like almost, like, I don't know, it was like a third more expensive than this was easily, and it was like, it tasted like nothing, so... Yeah. This had good flavor, and we tried some things that were... That's the one thing, is it didn't have stuff on the menu that we normally would have gotten. Yeah. But because of that, we got pushed outside of our comfort zone a little bit, and we found some really good rolls, so... Yeah. Pretty pleased about that. So thank you so much for my Valentine's Day day. It was really <laughs> great. It was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it, and glad we did it. Yeah. But it's the end of today. So I just realized that our chocolate is out in the car. Oh. That's depressing. I really want it right now. It's negative 33 degrees outside right now. I think that's the end of the day, though. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, I also need to mention that we left these out in the car, and it was very, very sad, obviously. And I really wanted them, and I was going to go out and get them. And Chris immediately jumped up and threw on his shoes and bundled up and ran outside and wouldn't let me go. And so he went and grabbed these for me, and I just needed to say that he's the most wonderful fiancé and most wonderful and considerate and amazing person in the world. And he went out in 30, minus 30 degree weather to get me chocolate. He's the best. <laughs>